50s, many of the biggest newsmakers of the day opened their doors to Edward R. Murrow on the popular person to person broadcast. And now CBS News is reviving the groundbreaking show, going inside the lives and homes of American legends like George Clooney and Warren Buffett. We're joined now by the host of the program, Charlie Rose. Thanks so much for joining us today. A pleasure to talk with you. Hey, thank you, Barbara. As you, you and Bill are sitting there together on this program, Lara Logan and I sit together in a studio in New York, and we go inside the homes, as you mentioned, George Clooney, which is a very interesting place. It is the kind of a, a place that you might expect George to live in. Uh, it is spacious. At the same time, it has the things there that, that he enjoys, the kinds of, of pictures that have meant something to him. There's a basketball court there. Uh, that doesn't George surprise is me. A, <laughs> me either. He's a competitive guy. I've been on the court with him, and... and uh, he wants to win, I can tell you that. <laughs> Charlie, does it tell you something about uh, somebody to know uh, the circumstances in which they live? It does, in two ways. One, they, you know, these, these two men who've been very successful, um, George is having a banner year, yet he didn't really want to talk about awards, and you didn't see on a big wall all the plaques and all the, all the Emmys and Oscars he has won. What you see in this house you know, are photographs of his family, I mean, especially of his father, who, as you know, was a famous broadcaster. Uh, you see other things. You see some of the uh, things that have made him passionate about Darfur. On the other hand, with Warren Buffett, here's a man who is, is the second richest man in the, in the United States and one of the richest in the world. There in his office is the memorabilia, because here's a guy who, as he says, hops and skips to work because he gets to paint on a new canvas every day with different colors, meaning that invest in different kinds of things. But at the same time, here's a guy who's passionate about sports. There's a picture of Ted Williams, who was a hero of his. I mean, there is a picture of his father, who was his biggest hero, which sits large in his office. Uh, there is a phone, which is what George, what Warren does every day is, he, as, as Bill Gates famously once said to me, what Warren does, you know, he talks to his friends on the phone, he reads, and especially reads annual reports, he plays bridge on the computer, uh, he goes out to his favorite restaurants and has dinner, and then he goes home and does the same thing. But as Warren said to me, you know, if he could, he'd sleep at the office, except his wife didn't want him, to, wouldn't ha hear of that. <laughs> I can imagine uh, that. that and he part wants is everything true. To, exactly. Indeed. But he is a, he is a, this is, the, the office of Warren Buffett is different than the office of most people. Uh, for a man who commands a huge company, uh, only 20 people are on the same floor. Uh, there are pictures of Africa taken by his son there. You know, you can see who he is and his own idea of how simplicity and less is more. Well, it's fascinating, and Absolutely. I'm sure the program is going to be fascinating every time it's on, and we appreciate you, and uh, by the way, great job on the CBS This Morning, the, uh, the new show uh, on in the mornings. We appreciate that as well. Good luck I do with too, it. Bill. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Love the broadcast. Thank you. It's Charlie Rose, Thank everybody, you, from CBS News. And that's